Well, I just want to take a second to talk to you about removing media cards, like SD cards and um, USB sticks. Whenever you have them in your computer, you go to my computer, <coughs> and here you can see everything you got in there. Here is um, removable disk F, which is an SD card, and a Kingston thumb drive. Okay, now that's a good way to know which drive you're looking at because. On Windows XP, you'll still find a place, and Vista um, will still have a place to eject. But on Windows 7 here, if you click the little arrow, and you'll see this thing here that says safely remove hardware and eject media, has a little green arrow on it. Now, if you click on that, it'll bring up a list. All right. Now, this first one here is my SD card, which would be this um, disk F. And if you notice, when I click on this, you'll see the removable disk F shut down up there and go away, and then you'll hear the ding where I pull the card out. See, it says safely remove hardware. Now I'll pull the card out. Now, same thing on the other one, on the thumb drive. If I click on there, that's the next one. Eject Data Traveler 2.0, Kingston. That's my thumb drive. So I click on it. Safe to remove hardware. See it left the picture up there and now when I'm pulled out. So what that does, it shuts the device off. Um, a USB hard drive, anything that you have plugged in, you should always check and see if there's a way to shut it off before you um, eject it. Because that'll make sure that there's no, even though you think there might not be, there could be some kind of data transfer or something and it sometimes pulling them out without turning the device off can corrupt files and stuff so just be on the safe side you should always eject any media that you can on your computer thanks for watching